We're doing a 45 minute wrestling practice at home. You don't need a partner. You don't even really need a mat. It'll help. We're gonna be doing some drop steps. So if you wanna grab some sweats or a knee pad and get a carpet so that you don't scuff up your knees, grab that now. And I'm also gonna need you to grab a lamp or a tripod, something that is tall, something that's light, that you can move, that you could visualize yourself doing. You could pick it up without worry of breaking anything. We're gonna be doing this, using this for one of our drills coming up. So without further ado, let's get this started. This is my longest YouTube video to date, 45 minutes. Let's get this clock started. And we're gonna start up with a warm up here. Can't start wrestling practice nice and cold so jog it out here with me as we get started we're going to be doing some technique we're going to be doing some drills finish it on up with some conditioning all right high knees high knees high knees high knees Bring it back up for butt kicks. We're just doing a nice, simple warm up here. Let's do some shuffles, getting that nice and low. Loosening the body up, the karaoke's. I got a short amount of space, so doubling up on these. Do these nice, uh, stretch it out, hips nice and tight, slide in the leg through. Whether you're feeling sore, tired, 100%, whatever level you're at right now, it's important to Get a nice stretch, get a nice warm up in before we go at it. This is one of my favorite. It's to start. Open up those hips. Let's go left to right. We're not just doing stagnant stretches. We're getting our body moving up and around. Join me at one side, we're doing tiny little hops. Down and back. Uh, pop it on up. Let's do some Frankenstein kicks. Waking up all of our muscles down and back. Inchworms, touch down, touch your toes, walk it all the way out, push up, now walk your feet into your hands, stretch it out, walk it on out to plank, push up, feet to hands, and now bring it on back, push up hands to your feet, shake it on out, step it on backwards again, push up, slowly bring it on up, step in, bring your knee to your chest, hug it on in, this is another one that feels really nice for me, you got the tight hips, you can even pull on your ankle a little bit to get that extra stretch. Last minute here, give me some jumping jacks, get that cardio up, just make sure the heart rate is up and ready to go. Couple more jacks here. 
down to your knees. Hands out, arch the back. Oh, that's nice. Bring it on through. Arch the back. Child's pose. And now let's get some back rolls. This is my indicator of whether I'm really warmed up or not. Can I bring my knees down to the mat here? And if I couldn't, that means I wasn't fully warmed up, ready to go. Looks like I'm good. All right, let's bring it back up to our seated position, standing position, and go ahead and grab this lamp or tripod, whatever you guys have. And the reason that we have this is that we're gonna work on our stance in motion, our hand fighting with this prop. And it's important to have something physical in front of you. If you don't have anything that resembles this, then just kind of try and picture what we're doing in your head. But having something physical here is really gonna help us with our drills. So. We're gonna start off in our stance. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work around the lamp here. We're just gonna be working on our position, our stance in motion, doing circles around the lamp. All right, so I'm gonna start in my stance. I'm nice and comfortable, I'm nice and relaxed. I have my head up, my back is straight. All right, doesn't matter where you are in your stance. If you're up here, if this is where you naturally are in your stance and you're comfortable, that's fine. But if you're hunched over and looking down, that's where you're gonna run into trouble. So you wanna have a slight bend in your knees as long as you're comfortable, maybe you're most comfortable down here. Be ready to move in your stance. We're going circles around the stance. In our stance, go ahead, start moving. And notice how I have my lead leg forward at all times, all right? Lead leg forward, make sure you're giving yourself enough room. Circling back and forth, both ways. I always have my lead leg forward. Push them, push them, push them. We never want to be going backwards in our stance. A lot of times I see guys, they're struggling to get to their offense because they're moving backwards. They're moving backwards. They're letting this guy come to them. No, I want to be the guy that's always pushing my guy. So, so I'm going to start with the lamp here at one side of the, the mat. I'm going to push, 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 push. All right, make sure you have something that you're not going to break. Push, push. Hands and feet moving. Pick up that lamp, grab it from one side to the next. I'm pushing forward. Go. Other side. Boom, 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 boom. We always want to have this lamp moving backwards. Put it in the middle of the, the mat. I'm in my stance. I'm doing my circles. All right, I'm pushing here. I'm pushing. I'm never moving backwards. I'm nice and steady. Circling, circling. Let lead leg is forward. Lower your level, lower your level. Circle here, circle. Pick up this lamp and move it. Move it to where you need to go. You're telling this lamp where it needs to go. Push them, push them. You're visualizing that this thing right here, whatever it is, this is my opponent and I'm telling him where it needs to go. Circle, circle. Now we're gonna work into our down blocks. Now we're gonna take the defense. Imagine that this lamp is coming into us. We never wanna go backwards. Like I said, if we can't get to our offense and we're not pushing, 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 we're circling. We're making these circles around our opponent here. I never want to be going backwards because that's when bad things are going to happen. It's happened too many times when you retreat, this guy can do a last minute move. He could dive at your ankles or something. Your momentum's going backwards, you're trouble. So we want to be circling. If he's coming at me, I'm going to be circling. So you can pick up this lamp and circle it. Pick it up and circle. 
to start at one side of the, uh, of the area right here. Pick up the lamp, circling, circle, circle. I may be going backwards, but I'm circling. I'm repositioning myself so that I can get to my offense. One more time. We're going down backwards, but we're circling. Circle, 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 circle. Now, once you get to this end of the mat, I want you to pick up this lamp and go forward. Push them, push them, push them, push them. I'm lowering my level and I'm pushing this guy forward. All right, good job so far. Now we're gonna be using this lamp as kind of a exercise to work on our penetration steps. We all know how to do our penetration steps. If you're a seasoned wrestler, if you're a beginner, this is a drill that you wanna do, you wanna master so you don't even think twice about it. Muscle me memory is your friend right here. So, I am not going to have a successful shot if my head is not lower than this little light switch right here. So we're gonna use this lamp as my penetration here. All right, I'm in my stance. I'm moving, I have to get my head lower than this light stance. So we're taking shots here, but we're using this as a gauge. Pretend that we have a bar that's coming out from this lamp right here, kind of like a conga line. All right, I gotta get lower than the conga line. I want my head lower than the conga line. Go ahead on your own. Visualize it. And notice how, how I'm working here. Maybe I give them a push. Maybe I give them a, uh, a push, push, tap, 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 and go. All right, tap and go. Tap, tap, big, tap. Go into your shot. Tap, 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 low. Take that shot. Keep on moving. Tap, tap. Circle tap, taking that shot, low on your level, getting nice and low, tap, tap, boom. Two more here, tap, tap, last one, tap, 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 good job. Now we're gonna work with this thing with our hand fighting. We're gonna be moving this as if we are setting up our attack because we all know good and well that we're not going to be able to just shoot straight on against my opponent right here. He's going to be able to defend that. He's going to be able to see it coming. I don't care how fast or strong you are. It's, it's not best practice to just shoot straight on. You want to set it up. You want to get him off balance. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to move this thing in our stance right here. Circle to the left. Circle it to the left. See how I'm changing my position right here? I'm circling it, now I have a leg open. Pretend that this is the guy's head. Circle, where's his leg gonna be? His right leg is up for the taking right here. All right, now I can go in. I can lower my level and go in. Circle, put it back. Now we're going other way. Now here's a big tip. If you're leading with your right hand, all right, which arm do I wanna be clubbing with? If I club with my right hand, well guess what? I'm clubbing with my right hand. I have my right leg forward. This leg is right in front of me. But what am I shooting? I have my left hand free but my right leg's forward. How am I gonna get to that attack? It's gonna be tough. You're gonna have to put two and two together. What I suggest is that if you're a right-handed dominant, right leg lead, club with your left hand because then that frees up your lead shooting arm. So I'm in my stance right here. Club with your left hand. Circle. Now I have this hand free to shoot, free to shoot, whether, whether it's a sweep, whether it's a low single, I have this whole side free at my disposal. Club into my shot, give it a go, 
club left, drop step right. Circle, drop step. In my stance, club, drop step. Couple more times here. Club left, shoot and right. Notice how, how I'm moving my hands, moving my feet. Club and left, shoot and right. Good job, keep working. Another reason why you don't want to necessarily club with your right hand the same side as your lead leg. Let's say I club with my right leg. This is this guy's head. All he has to do is clear my arm and my leg is there for the taking. So if I'm in my stance and I club right, I have my right leg forward. All he's got to do is pop me open and my legs exposed. Club, he's got that shot all day long. Club, I'm in trouble. That's why counter it using the opposite hand. Boom, club left into my right. Good job guys, we are done with this lamp. I know it was a fun drill for you to use. Probably never wrestled with a lamp before. First time for everything. I'm glad that we got some good use out of it. So we're gonna transition now and bring things down to the mat wrestling. We're gonna be working on our stand-ups. You're gonna wanna need a wall. This is gonna help you with your form and a, some form of resistance in lieu of having a practice partner here with today with us. Before we get to the wall, I'm gonna go over the basics of a stand-up for you. And I know you might be rolling your eyes, I've done a stand-up a million times. Well, yeah, you maybe have, but you wanna make sure this is one of the things that you're mastering. Because if you didn't choose the bottom position, you better be, you better be scoring one point. So, I am curling my toes underneath. I know a lot of coaches say, no, don't do that because it's an easy way for them to ankle drive you, whatever. It's comfort, guys. It's comfort. It's semantics. It's it's not a huge issue because if I'm if I'm exploding up to my feet, what's that what's that knee drive gonna do? Work on your explosive. Get to your feet. That knee drive isn't really gonna matter. Plus, being on your toes right here, it's kind of like a instant springboard. I can hop up to my feet a lot faster than when I sit on my ankles. It just doesn't feel natural from someone who's broken their ankle twice. I just don't have the flexibility. So I have my curl, uh, my toes curled, slight bend in the elbows right here. I, I'm using my hands and knees as the springboard as well. I'm kind of pushing up, pushing upwards, driving my weight upwards. If he's on my left side, so if I'm at a wall right here, opponent's on my left side, I want to step up with my left leg first. And to be honest, guys, it doesn't really matter because both legs are going to be coming up virtually at the same time. So exploding up and see what I mean? I'm pivoting up with my, my other one. So next to the wall, clear my hand, stepping up at the same time, other one is pivoting. So work on your explosiveness here. Clear that hand and it doesn't have to go to the sky, it can come to the guy's wrists right here. You can bring your hands to his wrists. The reason, you might, you, uh, reason why you might want to extend this is so that he couldn't chop your arm down. But again, if you do it strong and fast enough, it's not going to be, it's not going to matter as much. So once I get right here, weight into him. I have to peel, 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 peel. I'm cutting with my left side and then my hips away. So, one more time, full motion. Standing up, arm and leg at the same time, pivoting up to my feet. I wanna let my hips out. I gotta break this grip, break this grip, turn, cut, hips away. So let's give me 15. 15 stand-ups on this side, on my go to start. Ready. 
full motion. Go. Make sure you're cutting in. Ready. Go. Back down. Go. Use this wall. That's what I'm cutting away from. I'm getting my left hand through, cutting, and I'm facing my opponent, getting ready for my next attack. Ready. down up slow down up 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 hips out peeling that grip visualize it Losing count, let's do three more. Up. <laughs> Up. Last one. Up. Good job. That's the left side. Now we're going to the right side because we need to practice both sides. We don't know which side that our opponent is going to line up on. Facing the wall, if you don't have a wall, that's fine, you could do it with us. Few, few slow motion to start. Now this time, right hand and right leg are coming up. Right hand, right leg, pivoting on the left side, cutting with my right side. And I want to make sure that I have my lead leg forward because I want to be ready to take my shot when I get away. The best way to get an easy takedown is right after you get that escape, okay? I, I'll use the lamp as an example, right? So let's say this lamp is riding on top, I stand up, I cut away, I wanna go right into it. Explode through this thing. It doesn't have to be the prettiest shot. Just go in for it, because one, He's not gonna be in good position. When a guy lets you up, he gives you a point. He's usually like this, right? He's usually just pushing you, wants to get a quick breather. He's out of his stance. So use that to your advantage. If he's out of his stance pushing you away, blast through him. Doesn't need to be the prettiest shot. Even if you don't get it, then one, you're sending a message to him because this sport is mental. Remember that. This sport is mental. I'm sending a message to this guy that if you're just gonna give me a point, I'm taking more points with that. I'm always ready to wrestle. And two, if you don't even score, that could be a potential stalling warning that the ref sees that. The ref's like, oh man, this guy, he just got away. He just scored. He's going again for a score. Now that's in the ref's mind. You're on the ref's side that he's gonna be trying to score more points. So use that to your advantage. So when we're doing these stand-ups, we want to cut away, make sure that we have our lead leg, if possible, in, in front of us so that we can go right into our attack. So, right leg up, pivot, hips away, cutting through. Hips out, cutting away. Let's go full motion here. You know the drill, ready? Back down. Up. <laughs> Up. Up. <laughs> Get some hip separation and then turn in hard in your stance. Use this wall. See how I'm using this wall? I'm pressuring into this guy, getting my hips free so that I can turn into him. Up. 
few more here. Give me three more, ready? Up. Up. Last one. Up. All right, good job so far. We're at the 25 minute mark, 20 minutes left. Time to pick up the pace a little bit. We're gonna get into some shadow wrestling. Don't need the lamp, but we're gonna start putting some of these moves together. Follow my lead. All you need to do is follow me, and I'm gonna guide you through a shadow wrestling drill here for the next nine and a half minutes. All right, you ready guys? Starting in our stance. Let's go, moving around in our stance. Remember what we taught you, circle. Circle, lead leg is always forward. Moving around, circle in hand, circle in feet. Circle. 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 I'm comfortable right here. I feel like I can get nice and low for my down block. Put some down blocks and I say go. Let's get our down blocks in. Go down block. Down block. I'm lowering my level. Down block. Down block. And it's not enough to just stop his shot. Down block. Now we're going to put it together. Down block. And then go into your shot. We're going to hit a knee. Penetration step. Down block into your shot. Right back up. Down block. Right into your shot. Down block. Down block. Set it up into your shot. Down block. Visualize it. Circling hands and feet moving. The best wrestlers, they never, never stay right here. You gotta be comfortable moving in your stance for at least 10 minutes straight. Down block, shot. Down block, shot. I'm gonna hit my low single, my, hit my double leg, whatever my go-to is. Down block, shot. Down block, shot. Down block, shot. Hands and feet, hands and feet moving. I'm still in good position. I'm comfortable here. If I want to step away, get out of my stance. Moving. Down block. Shot. Now we're going to do opposite. Shot into your down block here. Making sure we stay in good position. It's not going to take only one shot to get the score a lot of times. You're gonna have to put it together, chain wrestle. That's what we're working with here. So shot into your down block. Shot, down block. I'm getting nice and low. Shot, down block. He's coming in. Shot, down block. Nice and low. Hands and feet moving. Wanna be comfy. Shot, down block. Shot, down block. Shot, down block. Low. Circle, circle. Set it up. Shot, down block. Always be ready for that second step. This is chess, guys. Wrestling to chess match. How am I going to get to my scoring opportunity? Shot, down block. Shot, down block. Shot, 
shot, down block. Shot, down block. Why are we doing down blocks and not sprawls? Well, we shouldn't get in the habit of putting ourselves out of position with a sprawl. If we had enough, a good enough down block, we don't need to get to our hips. Our first line of offense is our head, then our hands, then our hips. If we're sprawling, then we can't easily get to our reattack as we can when we're hitting our down block. Let's go. Shot, down block. Shot, down block. Shot, down block. Let's bring it down to the mat here. We're gonna be doing our stand-ups here. Stand up right away into a shot. This is the best time that we can score our takedown because this is the time when he's not gonna see it coming. Explode up into a shot. Ready? Go. Circle it. Set it up, go right in. Doesn't need to be perfect. Take what he's giving you. Ready? Go. As long as we get in, we're in a good position to score. Up. Maybe it's a front headlock. Maybe it's just a snap down or a go behind. Something easy. Don't overcomplicate it. Take what he gives you. Ready? Up. Explode, explode. Visualize that lamp. Pushing that lamp around. Go. Maybe it's a snap. I don't even need to hit a knee. Keep on working, guys. Go. Right back down. Go. Up. Up. Repetition, guys. Head up. Go. Go. Head up, back straight. Those are our golden principles. No matter what position. Go. All right, look in. We're gonna do a knee slide stand up, a power stand up here. Instead of just in our exploding, if we can't get to our feet, hands out into a power base position, we are going to knee slide. Knee slide, stepping backwards into our opponent. Pretend that you got a guy putting his weight into you here. So, extending outwards, knee slide up, stepping backwards, and we're cutting and facing. Let's go, let's drill it. Stepping out, power base, knee slide through, stepping backwards, hip out, cut in, ready to go. Back down, stepping out, step in, cut and face. Both sides, stepping out, knee slide, step back into them, hips out, cut away, lead leg is forward. Power stand up, baby stand up, whatever you call it. Stepping backwards, hip peel, cut in. Keep moving here, keep moving. Break it down slow. We don't need to go super fast right now. Stepping out, power base, stepping through. Kind of like a baseball slide, driving with this knee back into the guy. He's gonna be pressuring into you. Hips out, cut away. Lead leg is forward, ready for that attack. Come on, less than a minute to go.
Your own pace here, your own pace. Nice and strong in this position. Knee slide, step back. Hips out, cut in. Let's go, let's give me one more. Right back down. One more. Cut in and face. Up to your feet, shake it out. We have 10 minutes left. Time to go into our conditioning. We are warmed up, we are sweating. We are ready to finish this out here. Give me your best nine minutes and 45 seconds up and jogging here. Up and jogging. And this isn't gonna be easy, guys. We're gonna be pushing ourselves and it's not gonna be pretty. Jogging to start. Jogging to start. Let's go, fast feet, fast feet. When I say hit it, you're gonna sprawl and do a push up. Hit it, sprawl, push up, right back up. Hit it. Hit it. Beat chopping, beat chopping, hit it. Right back up, feet chopping, feet chopping, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. On our backs here. On our backs, feet out six feet. Don't drop them. Don't you dare drop them. Six feet off the ground. Let's go. Flutter. Hold. Flutter. Hold. Scissors. Hold. Scissors. Hold. Hold it, hold it, don't drop. Don't drop, flutter. Don't drop. Knees in. Knees out. Legs in. Legs out. Toe touch. Toe touch. Knees in. Legs out. Toe touch. Toe touch. Knees in. Legs out. Knees in. Legs out. Flutter, flutter, hold, hold, down, good work, bring it down to a push up position here, push up position, we're going 10 push ups to arm raises, ready, 10 push ups, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Ten arm raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down, nine push ups. Shake it out. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine arm raises. Ready? Go. One, two, Eight, nine, eight push-ups. Shake it out. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Back down, seven push-ups. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Starting to feel it. Seven, armless. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down for six push-ups. Shake it out. Ready, go. Six. Six arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five push ups. Down. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Five arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep up with me. Four push-ups. Ready? Go. Four, two, three, four. Four arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Three push-ups. Get down. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Three arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Two push ups. Down. Ready? Go. One, two. Two arm lifts. Ready? Go. One, two. One push up. Ready? Go. One arm lift. Ready? Go. All right. Front neck bridge. Grab a towel, grab something if you don't have a mat here. Front neck bridge, up, hands and feet here to start. Touching your nose, touching the crown of your head. Holding it, holding it. All right, hands off the mat, ready, go. Hold this position. You gotta have a nice strong neck in wrestling. So that way your opponent can't snap you down easy. That you're in nice strong position when you're in on your shots. Tough for the guy to stuff your head defensively. Let's go circle, circle. Moving your hands, or moving your feet rather. Give me some circles. Get every little crevice. Forward and backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left to right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip it on over to back neck bridge. You can do the flippy thing if you have a mat and you have the room. But bring it on up to a back neck bridge and hold it. Let's go. Hold this position here. Try and touch your nose to the mat. Hands off the mat now. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Woo! All right, bring it down, guys. Last thing we're doing here is a wheel position. Back neck bridge, wheel position. Hold yourself in the air until failure here. You can go five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 seconds, however long you can go. Ready yourself in this position. 
Ready? Up and hold. Let's go. All fours up. Hold it. Hold it. Stay with me. Stay with me. Until failure. Uh, or at least as long as I can do it. I'm slipping. Come uh, down. Time, guys. That is our 45 minutes. Great work. Let's bring it on up. Clap it out, guys. 45 minutes. You just worked your butt off. I hope you got some good technique. Got a good workout, good conditioning. That ab circuit, that push-up circuit. That's all good stuff that's going to help you in matches. Feel free to play around with this stuff. Guys, be creative in your training. Use what you have around you. If you love this sport as much as I do, you're going to do this extra work at home. You're going to find creative ways. And don't let one coach tell you that their way is the only way. All right, learn from as many people as you can and develop your own style, your own habits, and apply it to your own wrestling identity because that's how you're going to become a great wrestler. As soon as you figure out what type of wrestler you are, then you're going to be a really, really dangerous on the mat. So use these drills, use these exercises, and figure out what type of wrestler you are, what you succeed at, what you're good at, what you need work with, and then supplement it into your own training. Great work. I know you guys are doing everything you can to be the best wrestler you can, and that's all a coach can ask for. So make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell all your teammates, your coaches, your friends to check out my channel. I love making this, these workouts and, and tutorials and stuff for you. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next. Until next time, I'm Jacko Taco. I'll see you around town. Woo! Great work.